aware of what's happening and how serious this really is. So Scarlett, tell us about what happened. Well, Brooke, first, thank you for having me here and thank you very much for uh, just staying up to date and being knowledgeable about what's going on with coronavirus to protect all of us residents and staff. I know you have to make hard decisions, um, but thank you also for uh, giving, giving me the time to really fully recover after having testing positive and having COVID-19. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. So what happened? Well, um, I knew I'd been exposed. My boyfriend had tested positive the uh, day before Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I went and got tested that Monday. And two days later, my test results came back and they were negative. But symptoms had started. I had a fever and I started to feel sick, chills. Um, and so I went and got tested again and I tested positive. Mm -hmm. And my fever had broken and I started to feel better and I thought, well, I can, this is manageable. I can, you know, I can function and, mm -hmm. but I was still, you know, I was tired, weak, but I could still cook. I could still do a little work from home. And then um, about three days after that second test, I got a fever of 103 and it lasted for seven days. Oh my goodness. And I know you were texting me every day. I really appreciate that. <laughs> you were texting me every day to check on me and, uh, and many people did. And I really appreciate everyone reaching out. Uh, but I was just really weak, um, had pretty much every symptom, almost, list, you know, almost every symptom, symptom of COVID-19. I had the uh, fever, chills, uh, body aches, sweats. Um, the taste and smell? The taste, yes. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't smell anything. Mm. Uh, chest congestion, nasal congestion, oh. coughing, uh, digestion issues. So uh, seven days that went on. And then once my fever broke after 24 hours, I felt like, you know, I'm going to get through this. And it, uh, it, uh, I didn't have a fever for 48 hours and I knew that's when I was starting to get better, but it still took time to uh, get over COVID-19. It took longer than two weeks, right. definitely. Um, and I was working from home and so I, because I had to get two tests, negative tests to come back to work. And my first test was negative And then my second test was positive. Right scared me because I thought I had it again, mm -hmm. but the uh, Department of Health uh, explained to me, an epi epidemiologist there explained to me that once you have COVID-19, uh, the coronavirus is still in your system. Mm -hmm. uh, however, the virus is dead, yet uh, you can test positive mm -hmm. up to three months because right. it's still inside you. Um, so that's the bad part of it. The good part is my body has built up some immunity to it, but there's so much unknown and doctors and scientists are finding out new things every day about it. So it was very scary. And, um, it, and it is changing yes. almost day by day what the guidance is. And you referenced the two tests, which for a long period of time, that was what they said. It's mm -hmm. that the test-based strategy for determining if somebody was done with the coronavirus was the way that they direct people to go. Right. Now they're saying it's the symptom-based strategy, right. which as you said, after the symptoms stop, then you have a couple weeks period um, without any symptoms, and then you're cleared to come back to work. Right. So uh, it was a, a long period of time that you were out. We're yes. really glad that you came back. And Thank uh, you. And I'm glad to be back. <laughs> yes. And, and thank you for sharing the, uh, the story. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at this and they say, I don't know anybody that has it. I haven't seen anybody that has it. Nobody in my family. But here it is. Well, I have friends who said, said to me, oh, coronavirus isn't real. Mm -hmm. And when I tell them I had it and what I went through, then they believe it. Right. So... You know, if there are people out there who don't think it's real, it is very real, it's very scary. I feel very fortunate that I was able to manage all of my symptoms at home and not have to go to the hospital. Um, very sad, uh, uh, you know, there are people who are in intensive care and people have lost their lives to this. Uh, so 
very important to wear wear your mask, right. uh, wash your hands, social distance, and and you know, Brooke, I really was doing all of the right things, wearing my mask when I went out to the grocery store, to the pharmacy, um, and and to work. Those were really the only places I was going, but. Um, you know, there are people who test positive but have no symptoms right. and they don't or, or they have no symptoms and they don't test. They don't they don't know. So they're passing on that virus. It's, it's very scary. Really. It is. And, and you really have to uh, just assume mm -hmm. that the interactions that you have, um, you need protection. Right. You, you just have to assume that the the person opposite you, even though they may look healthy, they right. may look happy and everything is fine, uh, they could be asymptomatic, as you exactly. said. Exactly. So it, it is very scary, so that's why we encourage people to wear the masks and to do the right thing and to maintain social distancing. So uh, we certainly appreciate you coming on today. Um, we're going to be wrapping up here in just a second, but again, I want to say thank you for everything that you do for us and for sharing your story. It's very, very powerful. Thank you. I notice you no longer have your uh, coronavirus hair. It looks like you've got a haircut recently. Yeah, well, <laughs> we all kind of went through that where everybody was closed down. And, and my favorite barber is Peanut over at Peanut's Barbershop. Tammy, thank you so much for getting my hair back the way it's supposed <laughs> to be. We really appreciate it. It looks great. Uh, we, we appreciate the, uh, everything that you've done for us again. Thanks for thank sharing you. on this. And uh, we'll be right back in just a moment. Thank you.